Hi guys this is Abhi from Engineering Master welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master in this video we will discuss about switch different type of switches and its applications we will detailly look into one way switching two way switching and three way switching what is a switch electric switch is a device for opening and closing of electric circuit under normal load conditions switch is used to opening and closing of electric circuit that is switch is used to turning a device on and off the switches are designed to operate under normal load conditions in faulty condition we use some switches but that is called circuit breakers not electrical switch the term switch is used for the working under normal load conditions what are the components of a switch if you look at the internal structure of a switch you can see a knob body contacts and terminals knob is used to turning the switch on and off body we know it provides a housing for the other parts there are contacts through that electricity will flow then terminals also there terminals is used for the cable connection we can connect electrical cable on the terminals these are the parts of a electrical switch we can classify the switches as single pole switch and double pole switch single pole switch or sp switch an sp switch is the most basic general purpose switch that you use to control a device from one location you can see single pole switch everywhere this switch is used for general purpose it is used to control a device or light from one location it has two terminals l1 and l2 another type of switch is double pole switch or dp switch a dp switch is used to control two circuits or it will used to switching the phase and neutral phase and neutral at same time in sp switch we can control only phase conductor that is only one wire is coming to the switch in dp switch we can control either two circuits or phase and neutral together in general purpose or in residential purpose we won't use dp switch for the controlling of two circuits we will use it for switching of the phase and neutral at the same time for our kitchen equipment and geysers normally dp switch are used in dp switch also there are two types dpst double pole single throw switch dpdt double pole double throw switch another type of classification is one way two way and three way switches one way switch means we can control a device or light from one location one point two way switch means in a large rooms or in a staircase we need to control a light from two locations so for this purpose two way switches are used then intermediate switch if we need to control a light or an equipment from three locations then we will use intermediate switch controlling of light from three locations is also called three way switching let's look at one way switches in detail this is a back side of a one way switch you can see two terminals here phase is coming into the switch and it is coming out and is connected to the bulb or lamp neutral is connected directly to the light so this is the arrangement of a one way switch or single pole single throw switch this is a single pole switch only phase is coming into the switch in double pole switch phase and neutral or two circuits will come in off position the contact will be held upside so there won't be any power flow in the circuit if you make the circuit on this is on position of a switch if you turning the switch on then the current starts to flow through the circuits and the lamp will glow if we turn off the switch then there won't be any current in the circuit another type of switches are two way switches it's also called single pole double throw switch it is used to control a light from two locations the difference between one way switches and two way switches is two way switches has three terminals l1 line 1 line 2 then phase or common so you can see three terminals in a two way switch in one way switch only two terminals will be there how to wire a two way switch it's easy to wire a two way switch the power supply or the phase is directly connected to the p or c terminals the common terminal the l1 of first switch is connected to l2 of second switch l2 of first switch is connected to l1 of second switch so how many wires will come in a switchboard phase two common wires and earth wire so four wires will come in a switchboard for two way switches in one way switches only two wires will come phase and earth if we use two way switches for controlling of a light then four types of combination is possible in two way switching that is switch 1 on switch 2 on switch 1 off switch 2 off switch 1 on switch 2 off switch 1 off switch 2 on so these are the operating combinations possible using a two way switches so let's look at one by one the first combination is switch 1 off switch 2 off what will happen to this lamp 
the lamp will be off because the face is coming to the common terminal which is in the center then switch 1 is off so upper two contacts are in touch through L1 the current will flow to L2 of the second switch in second switch is in off position so common and L1 are in contact therefore the circuit will be broken here there won't be any current flow to this lamp because L1 and common are in contact not L2 and common if the two switches are off condition then the light will be off in second scenario switch 1 is off then switch 2 is on what happens the light will be on if you look at the current path you can see current is coming to the common then switch is off then through L1 it is going to L2 then other switch is on common and L2 will be in connection so from L2 the current will goes to the common and to the light the circuit will be completed light is on in third scenario the first switch is on and second switch is on so what happened to the light the light will be off because phase is coming to the common terminal then switch is on that means through L2 it is going to L1 of the second switch in second switch what is the situation second switch is on then common and L2 are in connection so the circuit will be broken in L1 there is no connection between common and L1 what happened the light will be off in fourth scenario the switch 1 is on and switch 2 is off what is the output the light will be on the phase is coming to the common and the switch 1 is on so common and L2 are in contact so through L2 the phase or the current is going to L1 of the second switch the second switch is off that means common and L1 are in contact through the common terminal it is going to the light and the light is on so these are the four types of operation these are possible using a two-way switch next type is three-way switching in three-way switching we can control a light from three different locations for three-way switching we need two number of two-way switches and one number of intermediate switches there is a new switch that is intermediate switch front side is similar to the normal switch the back side will be like this it has four terminals two number of L1s and two number of L2s so it will be like this L1, L2, L1, L2 in off condition the first L1 and second L1 will be in contact then L2s will be in contact in on condition what will happen it will be like this L1 of the first row connected to the L2 of the second row then L2 of the first row is connected to the L1 of the second row this will be the switches arrangement the first one you can see is a two way switch the second one is an intermediate switch the third one is again a two-way switch using these three switches eight combinations are possible s1 off s2 off s3 off s1 on s2 off s3 off like this eight combinations are possible using these three switches let's look at a scenario in this scenario three switches are in off what happened light is on how is this possible look at the wiring the phase is coming to the common of the two-way switch then from the L1 it's going to the L1 of the intermediate switch in off condition L1 and L1 will be in contact so from the L1 of the second row it is going to the L1 of the third switch the third switch common and L1 in contact because third switch is off condition the light is on in second scenario we are switching on the intermediate switch the two way switches are in off condition only in the intermediate switch will be in on condition what is happening the phase is coming to the common then common and l1 are in contact through the l1 it is going to the l1 of the first row of intermediate switch then the switch is on that means l1 of the first row is connected to l2 of the second row then through the l2 is going to l2 of the third switch in third two way switch is in off condition in that scenario common and l1 will be in contact not l2 though circuit is broken here the light is off in other scenario first two way switch is on intermediate switch on then second two way switch off in that scenario light is on let's look at the current flow the phase is coming to the common the first switch is on that means common and l2 are in contact through the L2, it is going to the L2 of the intermediate switch, first row. Then 
first L2 and second L1 are in contact because intermediate switch is on. Then through the L1, it is going to L1 of the third switch. Third switch is off. That means common and L1 in contact. Then through the common, it is going to the light. So the light is on. Next scenario, first switch is on, intermediate switch is on, third switch, two-way switch is on. So let's look at the current flow. The light is off. The phase is coming to the common. The switch is on. That means common and L2 are in contact. Through the L2, it will flow to the L2 of the intermediate switch. Intermediate switch is on. That means L2 is connected to L1 of the second row. So through the L1, it is going to the L1 of the third switch. Third switch, the switch is on. That means common and L2 are in contact, not L1. Circuit is broken here. So there won't be any current flow in the circuit. That means light is off. How many wires will come in a one switchboard in a three-way switching? We can see the face wire will come, the two looping wires will come, then earth wire will come. So four wires will come in a switchboard for a three-way switching. In two-way switching also four wires will come. In one-way switching only face and earth will come. Apart from the above switches, there are a lot of varieties of switches are available in the market. Rotary and selector switches, toggle switch, slide switch, push button switch, limit switch, flow switch, float switch, pressure switch joystick switch and timer switch etc so let's look at some of them first one is rotary and selector switches these switches are rotary switches with a knob that operates around an axis to switch and connect a common terminal to different output terminals you can see this with almost all the industrial equipments we have common terminal and different output terminals so we are rotating the common terminal to the different output terminals terminal 1, 2, 3, etc. These are called rotary switches. Other one is toggle switch. A toggle switch is manually actuated or controlled by a mechanical handle or lever. So in toggle switch there will be a mechanical handles. We can move up and down or we can switch on and off using a handle. Other type is push button switch. A push button switch is a momentary contact switch meaning it uses a spring mechanism to close or open the circuit for off and on operation. Almost all the emergency stop operation will be push button type switch. It uses a spring mechanism to close or open the circuit. Other one is a limit switch. Limit switches are used to detect the presence or absence of an object. These switches are originally used to define the limit of travel of an object. And as a result, they were named limit switch. These limit switches are used to limit something. For example, we are using limit switches in tower cranes to limit the horizontal movement of the crane. This provides the protection from hitting the tower crane arm to the other building or other tower cranes. It is used in a washing machine. When the washing machine door opens, this the limit switch will be triggered and the washing machine will be off. Another type of switch is a flow switch. Flow switches are commonly used to detect the movement of liquid or air flow through a pipe or duct. This is widely used in firefighting sprinkler systems. When the sprinkler system operates, it will detect the flow and it will send the signal to the fire alarm system then fire alarm system produces an alarm and it is again widely used in HVAC applications also it is used to detect the movement of liquid or air the another type is float switch float switches are type of contact liquid level sensor that uses a float to operate a switch they are commonly used to control other devices such as alarms and pumps when a liquid level rises or falls to a specific point float switches are widely used in pumps it is widely used for the operation of pumps or safety of pumps. It will float above the water. The, when the float switch is floating above the water, it will be in a horizontal direction. When the water level reduces, it will come down. When water level is empty, the switch changes its position from horizontal to vertical. The changing the position from horizontal to vertical will trigger the switch and the pump will be off. The next one is pressure switch. Pressure switches are mechanical or electronic devices activated when the pressure of fluid, air or gas reaches a specific threshold or set point. This is widely used in hydropneumatic water supply systems. When the pressure of a water increases a certain limit, then the pressure switch will be activated. Or the water pressure reduces beyond a limit, then also the pressure switch will be activated. So this is a pressure switch. Another one is a temperature switch. This switches operates on the principle of thermal expansion using a heat sensing element. It uses 
by metallic strip or combination of two metals to detect the temperature when exposed to heat it will bend and activate the mechanisms another one is a timer switch we are widely using this switch in irrigation systems timer will be set on the systems so using a timer we can turn on and off the switch another one is joystick switch a joystick switch consists of a lever that moves freely in more than one axis of motion that is up down left or right used in gaming control pads building machinery portable control equipments camera motion control trucks excavators and cranes we all used joystick switch in our video games it is familiar in video games some machines like excavators and truck use a joystick switch to control the arm of the truck that's it guys i think you got a fair idea about switches different type of switches one way two way three way switches and working we have discussed about the wiring of a switch also let's meet in the next chapter bye